Hi, good morning. Uh, today I'm going to be unboxing an Extreme Power 2200 watt demolition hammer, also known as a jackhammer. Um, I've rented them in the past day to break up the concrete, uh, some asphalt, it was uh, pretty problematic, as well as to break up rocks here. I have a sandy, rocky soil here. That's kind of the makeup where I am, and some of those rocks get extremely large. I'll show you a video where I wish I would have had a jackhammer, but I didn't want to go rent one. I had to break up a rock on digging a hole, so you'll get an idea of why I bought this. I paid $120 for it. To rent a jackhammer up here, it's about, you know, with insurance, because you don't want to break something and then have to pay for the whole thing. It's about $80 a day, so this thing is going to quickly pay for itself, provided it works well. Um, it also leads to the question is, is I do these videos not from sponsorship. I bought this thing because I'm legitimately going to use it. Uh, I'm going to let you know what I think of it. You can make your own decisions as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and unbox this thing. See what kind of materials they have in it. I believe it comes with gloves and goggles and so on and so forth. Some safety features. So here we go. Taking it out of the box. carrying case and everything else. So here it is. The box is empty. And here is what it has come with. This case. Cool. Alright. So here it is. A pair of gloves. A pair of goggles. And uh, a lubricant bottle and some Allen wrenches and another wrench. And here's the power cord. Let's get through this. And here's the bit. There's the bit I'm interested in. This bit is going to be my chisel. It'll just crack right through rocks, I'm sure. Uh, I'll show you concrete. I've got concrete that I cut back over here uh, to install this fountain because it's on an angle. I, I used a big con cut cutting machine to uh, concrete cutting machine to get to it. So I'll go ahead and use this on some squares that I laid back in the back. I like to break them up so I can easily get rid of them if I want to. But I'm one of those storing people. And here is your other bit. It's a small shovel bit. This would be good for getting under floor tile. Uh, and other things, you know, whatever you decide you want to use it to, but floor tiles going in at an angle like that, uh, anything you want to work loose, uh, another good thing. And here is the unit, and it looks pretty good. It's heavy. You know, the total weight with the uh, these two, I believe it's about 50 pounds, 47 pounds. There it is. Um, feels pretty sturdy got a plastic handle which I like you know that uh, will keep the electricity from to from being conducted to your hands in case you get moist and sweaty and it's got a nice support handle here and the final item is a dust mask uh, that would be important I think especially if you're uh, cutting tile or concrete that's really dusty um, you know you have to use your own discretion because I'm going to use this for rocks I won't use that and I have safety glasses so I'm not concerned about that. Um, it looks good. It even comes with a pair of uh, gloves. I like to use tight leather gloves. These are too loose for me but that's kind of cool. So you get the gloves, you get a respirator, the oiler like that. You always need oil for this kind of equipment and a pair of safety glasses. They don't look like super high quality. Not my concern. I guess you could say they're like the gloves. They're kind of inexpensive and dust mask nice this one looks pretty good you know for the basics i have uh, my own respirators if i need them uh but the the big puppy here it feels real sturdy it's got a nice heft it doesn't feel loose and uh that's really nice so i'm gonna go ahead and you know get this guy set up and uh i'll be uh, chipping concrete to show you how it works i'm gonna first show you a really important thing and that is checking your oil. This one came oiled. It's about, uh, I'm going to say about a little over two-thirds 
full. I'm going to show you the window. If it, let me show you the oil window so you can see it. Um, it's about a little over two thirds full. You want to add more oil when it gets down here, about a sixteenth inch um, above the window here. Hopefully, you can see that well. So you get about a sixteenth of an inch or uh, three millimeters. You want to add oil. You want to add forty weight engine oil. They provide you with a wrench and so all you got to do is loosen the nut here on that window take it off and start by adding two or three ounces of oil and then you know check it uh, and make sure everything's okay i'm not quite sure if it's fill rate it doesn't come on the manual but i'd add about two to three ounces of oil a, a nice little touch too it was included with this are these. These are your uh, brushes, your contact brushes, and when the, they, they wear out, they gave you, this is an extra pair, you put them in here, and they ride on the shaft, and they transfer the uh, electricity here from your trigger onto your shaft, which drives your motor. So, if you use this a lot, which I don't intend on using this a lot, you know, it's going to be my rock breaker, uh, they've got extra brushes here. Uh, so if it stops working and you've used it a lot, you might want to consider changing your brushes. So there we go. But this is nice and snug. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put in uh, my chisel bit to get ready to go here. So, slip it in like that. And you pull this out. Turn it at 180 degrees, and it's in. It's not coming out. It's going to ride like this, and it's ready to go. And you've got your swivel handle. This does not tighten. This allows you to put it in the position where you want it to use it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go over here and break up a, a concrete square uh, that I cut with a concrete cutter to install a fountain on my concrete section of my driveway. So anyway. Let's go over here and do some concrete banging. There you can see that's about uh, concrete's about five inches thick, five and a half inches. Works really good. Uh, I'll be using this chisel on rocks when I, you know, I'm doing my landscaping around here, which I do a lot of. And I get in the way. Uh, works fine. Come over here to this piece. It's a lot of aggregate. Yeah. It's a really strong tool, uh, works very well. It's so I give it a thumbs up. Uh, really nice for the price, can't be beat. $119, you know, with, and it even comes with an extra pair of brushes like that. Though I'll probably never need them. I don't have a lot of use for it, but when I need it, I need it in a pinch, and now I have one, so I'm happy to have it.